think we were, well, we were angry, more than angry actually, mm -hmm. for in the first instance we'd not been consulted, and then the fence appeared without consultation, and then they weren't open to any suggestions as to how we could improve the situation. wasn't until it was up honestly no one ever asked so I, I found honestly I found that a little bit disrespectful like, not just to me but also to the other professors and the students because ultimately this is our home and I think we all have a right to, to say what happens to our home doesn't affect me getting into school, but when it involves anything outside school, that's when the inconvenience arises. Because everything kind of, for the people in Global House, everything happens kind of behind the building. The shopping, the bus routes, getting a taxi, that kind of stuff. Um, so even buying a pint of milk or a, a litre of milk, it's it's like a 800 metre detour to go around. For example, the international dormitory, the new dormitory is now outside the fence. Um, so their students who are greatly inconvenienced. So are they being supported in any way by the student council? Um, is the president open to any suggestions? I would say just an inconvenience at surface level for myself, the other professors, and also the students. But um, I think there's so many problems with it, you know, not just at surface level, like the fact that it's it takes more time and effort to get around now. But um, for example, what if there was an emergency, you know, like a fire or an earthquake and all the students and faculty that live in that corner of the university needed to get out, you know, quickly and safely. I think that could potentially be dangerous in the event of an emergency. Um, I'm disappointed with the, uh, the student councils mm -hmm. in the university because when it boils down to it, this is your university you pay for everything. It's not the president's university. So I'm just wondering what the, the student council are doing about the situation. I did hear there was recently an election, and um, maybe it was it a week or two ago, and um, I spoke with a student reporter, and she said that they were evading questions about the fence. So the student council representatives who were hoping to get elected would not answer questions about the fence. 저희가 질문들을 선택해서 학생 후보 학생 총학생 회장 후 총학생 회장 후보한테 질문을 물어보는 거였는데 그 질문 중에 하나가 강의동 개폐기 질문이었는데 그게 질문을 못 하게 되었어요. 그 총대 위원회랑 같이 상담을 했는데 그 질문은 좀 저희가 알고 있는 바가 없고 학교 측에서도 제대로 된 그런 입장이 제대로 안 나온 상태라서 저희가 질문하기 조금 어려울 것 같아서 저희가 네, 질문을 a fence doesn't keep us safe. You know, there's been violence, including sexual assault, right here on campus, you know, from within the, the student community. Yeah, I don't think it's a solution. You know, if we want to protect our students and our community against sexual assault, you know, we need to have sexual assault awareness weeks, you know, for all students and faculty. We need to have patrols of security guards to make sure that people walking around are safe. We need to ask the students what would happen, what would need to happen for them to feel truly safe. But that fence does not keep us safe. If someone truly wants to get into Hanam campus, someone from the outside that wants to get in and hurt someone in our community, there's other gates to get into. All right. Also, I've seen students jump the fence a hundred times. So it's not difficult to get onto campus. Should we go? Okay, come on.
저희 인터뷰 좀 해주실 수 있어요? 네. 방금 하려고 하던 게 뭐였죠? 아, 혹시 수... 잠을 너무 쉬려고 하셨나요? 수업 가려고 네. 넘었어요. 아 수업 원래 근데 잠 너무 위험하지 않아요? 위험한데 들어가기가 너무 멀어서 네. 어쩔 수 없이 넘게 됐어요. 아 혹시 이집 근처에 사시나요? 아 네. 저 여기 앞에 바로 사는데 네. 원래 학교가 가까워가지고 네. 이사를 했는데 네. 막아놔가지고 요즘에 네. 넘고 다니고 있어요. 아 그렇구나. 그리고 학생 말고 또 몇몇 학생 여기 넘어다니는 학생 본적 있나요? 그죠. 그래서 펜스가 많이 망가졌죠. 아 그렇구나. 이게 보시다시피 이렇게 많이 끊어졌어요. 많이 찌그러졌어요. Should I show you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, in Korean, of course. It's just something small, but I've hung them up several times. <laughs> All right, um, and I think all but once they were taken down, and then perhaps once the rain washed them away. I feel like it's my right to protest.